Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. Welcome to my shit show. So, happy Easter, you guys, uh, if you celebrate. <laughs> Gosh, I woke up so early, slept like crap, I have a massive headache. But I want to get something out for you guys just because it's been so slow. It really has. Foodie. Okay, first of all, she changed her name again um, from Everyday Miriam back to Foodie Beauty. So, whatever. <laughs> um, wonder if she's trying to get another plaque or who knows. Maybe we're going to see a rebrand. Um, I've been seeing some speculation that she's doing another, like, visa hop thing. Who knows, guys? Who knows? Um, but, yeah, she hasn't been vlogging or even live streaming lately. And, yeah, we haven't been really hearing much from Amberlynn either. I mean, she's been trying. <laughs> the girl's been trying to get us talking about her. But, like, it's so dull and boring. And, I mean, even this, like, Q&A that she's doing on Instagram, or that she did last night, uh, I should say. Boring, or it wasn't even last night. This was like 17 hours ago, so quite a while ago. Whatever. The girlies are not giving. It's not giving. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I figured we can take a quick look at this, and it will kill some time. I can get a video put out, so I feel somewhat productive today, other than like the painting that I have to do. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for tuning on in, guys. I was right in the middle of watching Mr. Snowflake's second episode of uh, the Foodie Booty series. And mm, it's starting to get nastier. <laughs> Love that. So go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but yeah, let's just dive into this Q&A, guys, shall we? Ask me a question. And of course, all cherries. <laughs> Would you ever collab with a reaction channel? It depends on who and what we'd be doing. I don't understand why she makes it sound like such a creepy thing. Like, what you'd be doing? What the fuck do you mean, girl? Like, <laughs> you'd be talking about something. Like, what the hell else would you be doing? Going out on a date? Please. Have you ever tried freeze-dried candy? Yes, I've tried freeze-dried Skittles like a year ago. Highly recommend. Better than a normal Skittle. I mean, I do enjoy the freeze-dried candy as well. But I don't know as though I'd say it's better than. Um, but whatever, girl. It's more expensive, that's for sure. <laughs> Are you in love? Yes, I am. She... Okay, so there's going to be a lot of questions pertaining to this topic throughout this. Um, is this who you've been looking off to the side at in videos? Because she a thousand percent would try to hide it until, you know, something slipped. Something would inevitably slip or she'd be so dry out for content that she needs to, you know, finally reveal, oh, I've been lying to you guys. <laughs> but mm, I don't know. I don't know if we can believe this. I still think it's a ploy to maybe drum up some interest from other people. And I also think it's because of um, Beck and Destiny. What's your favorite eyeliner? Your wings are literally goals. Elf liquid eyeliner. Thank you so much. Pointless. Pointless. I shouldn't even be covering this, but we're going to. <laughs> do you have anyone special in your life right now? I do. It's, it's your mom. Yeah. Your mom, your grandma, which like, good on you, girl. I think you should really try to foster that family connection because at the end of the day, it's all you're going to have. What do you think about Destiny is married, Beck is taken, and you're single? Who said I was single? <laughs> I mean, girl, you've kind of alluded to the fact that you're not seeing anyone, but now all of a sudden, oh, all of a sudden that people are talking about the fact that Beck's got a new girl who's way finer than you. You thought you were the hot shit in that relationship, bitch, please. And Destiny, you're one true fucking ride or die love. <laughs> She's married too now. So how's that make you feel, girly? Hmm? 
all all of this now mm, I'm, I have someone special is now coming up when they announce all that sure do you still talk to any old friends that have showed on old vlogs like Sharla yes I mean I wonder if she's I don't think she's still talking to Sharla, I'll be honest with you. But who she's specifically probably talking about in this is Eric and Ricky. Most likely. Which, like, mm, again, bad on you, boys. Like, just so messy and gross. Messy. Messy gays. Can you collab with Shook or is he on your poop list? He is one reaction channel I'd actually meet in person. I highly doubt Alex wants to meet you, girly. <laughs> highly, highly doubt. I mean, Alex, you let us know. <laughs> Be so fucking stupid. <laughs> How would you currently describe your sexuality? Tammy, is this you? Aunt Tammy, is this you asking the nasty, weird questions? I'm a lesbian. Period. On period. Well, I mean, we know Amberlynn doesn't get those, but... What happened to your upload schedule? It's been a regular. I haven't been able to stick to a schedule for like a year now. I mean, not true, girl. For a little bit, you were doing kind of consistently well. And then it fell off. Um, but it real, real talk, you haven't had a consistent schedule for 10 fucking years. <laughs> do you ever worry about foodie beauty? Yes, I do. Girl... I don't know why. I mean, I do know why. <laughs> but, like, you of all people, why don't you worry about yourself and your own shit before you go worrying about a woman that doesn't give a flying fuck about you, okay? Remember when she told you to go eat your weird fucking chicken sausages? <laughs> like, maybe you should stick to that. What's the last unfiltered photo you took? Last night. She probably sits around and takes a lot of photos of herself you guys and that's sad Ugh. she's gotta have those knockers on full display all times huh trying to reel them on in she also uploaded some tiktoks but like they're stupid we'll wait until she posts some more we'll wait until she goes on a real manic spree and posts a bunch and then we'll react to them because like it's nothing <laughs> do you think foodie should go back to canada Yes, but that's just an opinion. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, it's just an opinion. Thank you, girl. Thank you for stating the fucking obvious. Jesus Christ. Do you dye your hair? I love the color. I haven't in a long time. Years. All of my current hair is natural. Yeah. If we can call it that. It's like horse hay. Why are you lying about your weight? I'm not lying about my weight, period. I mean, whoever asked that was just to troll, which, like, they got you, gal. You fucking answered it. Way to go. She, like, you purposefully chose to answer this question. You gave in to the bait. whoop de doo Congrats. Will you ever do another So Raw series? I've actually thought about it. I enjoyed it so much. Truth be told, not much came out about in that i mean some stuff did i guess but like the thing with amberlynn is she her tea that she spills is always shit that we already knew you know what i mean like it's not really a shocker when she comes out and reveals things because people have already figured out the truth like months in advance sometimes years in advance you know it took amberlynn years to admit that she was bed bound at one point don't you think it's a bit strange that now destiny and beck have a wife and gf and you're suddenly not single lol that's what i'm saying i've been talking about this person way before those two things happened stop trying to make something out of nothing all three of us have moved on it's time for you to do so as well well I don't know, though, you can really speak for the others and especially the trauma that you put Beck through. So, mm, no, you've been hinting at this person to bait that Lexus girl who I think is completely out of Amber's life now. I don't think they're talking anymore. <laughs> I don't know, girl. It's all suspicious. It's very suspicious and coincidentally timed. 
That's all I'm saying. I don't care. Me and my notes app. Yeah, I bet, girl. I bet. Probably misspelling every single fucking word. I live by three simple rules. Love needs action. Trust needs proof. Sorry needs change. All things that you yourself have done very poorly, girl. Very, very poorly. Okay? People get mad if you talk about your exes, but then prompt you constantly to do so. It's wild, LMAO. Well, she chooses to answer those questions. So, people can poke and prod her all her want. If she chooses to, like, snap back and to answer those questions, that's her choice. No one is holding a gun to her fucking head saying, you better answer that fucking question and post it. If a guy was really into you, would you give him a chance to date or be exclusive? No, I wouldn't. No, but you tease for the entertainment, that's for sure. And I think, well, I don't know, because I don't really believe that uh, casino story that she fed us a while back. I mean, maybe if the guy was like really drunk, then I could see someone acting a fool like that. But Girl, even doing that, you want to sit here and talk about how dangerous it is for women, but then you go and put yourself into very uncomfortable situations that even your haters can spot as potentially dangerous for you from a mile away. Like, come on now. I'm so proud of you. You've grown so much this year. Aw, thank you. That means a lot to me. Yeah, I bet it does, girl. I bet it does. Me, 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 me. Do you think that your constant journaling could be trapping you in your thoughts about your past? No, because I don't really write much about my past. I write a lot about what I'm currently feeling slash experiencing. Okay, so different way to phrase that question. Do you think that your constant journaling could be trapping you in a bubble since you're not getting out and speaking about these to a professional or anything like that? You're just sticking to inside your own head you're probably not even speaking it out loud um especially not speaking it out loud to someone else so do you think that could be hindering you in some way that you're having a biased perspective because it's just your take on something my therapist told me people who struggle with anxiety and depression can't remember a lot because they are too busy focusing on how to get through each moment So they don't actually experience what is happening to them, causing them to not form the memory they were supposed to. If this is you, maybe this account can help. Girl, she's back in her therapist Lynn bullshit. Um, One, I don't really necessarily believe this. I think Amber Lynn has a quote unquote bad memory because she lies so much. Hello. So, yeah, that's the last one. Thank you so much for tuning on in, guys. I definitely want to know your thoughts because, yeah, like I said, it's been a slow week. A slow, slow week in girl world. Although it lined up, like, real well with my trip to Vermont. So, like, I guess that's fine. Let me know your thoughts, guys, down in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Become a channel member. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.